Hello friends, my name is Mike Rogers. I'm the Associate Production Manager at Oslo Repertory Theatre. And welcome to the second part of the behind-the-scenes look of Murder on the Orient Express. I'm going to talk you through everything the hidden stage crew does to keep the train moving, even when it's snowed in. Now don't judge me, I'm told that joke is funny. Now keep in mind this is just one transition in the show. There was over a dozen transitions that happened throughout the course of the production. Now my face is going to disappear, but you're still going to have to hear my voice. I hope you find this transition as interesting as I do. Thank you so much. And that's the crew for Murder on the Orient Express. As you can see, there are almost as many people on stage as there are off stage. And now let's talk about that transition. You'll see us switch from the observation car of the train to the dining car of the train backstage. And here we are, we're in the observation car right now. You're about to see the train turn. As you do, you'll see us switch to an overhead camera with what's going on on stage in the bottom left side. The camera switches into infrared because there's a lack of light, and that allows us to see safely backstage even when there isn't enough light. You'll see the crew manually pushing the train around, and then they're gonna detach two pins from right on the sides of the car, and that's what's holding that car, the observation car, to the train car. They're going to detach the pins and then push that car away. If you look on stage in this bright area, that's the area where the actors are actually on stage. If you look to the side, you'll notice an actor on the left hand side of your screen getting ready to enter. Meanwhile, the crew is pushing a complete train car away. In just a moment, you'll see that the crew start to bring that train car right back on stage. Here they come. And where you see that actor walking across from the left hand, on the bottom right hand side of your screen, you'll see a crew member appear in just a second. He'll be crouched down so that the audience can't see him because he's actually on stage, but he's just below the window. And he's now bolting the two side, the two train cars together. Center stage, you'll see the crew pinning the train car. Now that long arm attached to the train is what allows it to rotate on stage. It's, it's uh, anchored to that center pivot point. If you pay real close attention to that crew member in just a second, you'll see the actors actually step over him as they go by because they're walking on stage. Now the crew is going to manually push the train car around revealing the dining car on stage. And now that was just one transition in the show. We did this every time we had to change train cars in the show. And it was all done amazingly. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and we hope to see you again at the theater soon.